Graham, what's this two wins in a row like, mate? What's going on? Yeah. Um... <laughs> Steady yourself, mate. Don't get too excited. <laughs> come away that many times recently and come away with nothing so it's um, it's something of a brucey bonus if you want to put it that way important though yeah uh, massive um, I did I think I think we said after Liverpool we'll see if he could, if he picks the same side and it was wasn't it it was, the it was absolutely side, right? the same side so not only have they they got the recovery in they um, they clearly re built on the togetherness and it, I think it was there again particularly from the uh, from the defenders I mean D Diogo Dallo had his moments where he you, you probably wanted a little bit better but as a unit it was it was very much they shall not pass mm. and the high-fiving and the um, and the camaraderie that dare I say it has been missing lacking. is lacking that's a very good word. building, mate, you could say, around the pitch. You've got your centre-back partnerships. You've got the link between Malassi and Martinez on that side. They dealt with uh, Ted Adams, uh, Adams very well uh, today, I thought, both of them. Yeah, they... Um, it was a good battle, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good, it was a good battle. Um, um, I didn't think uh, Southampton created a whole lot. They were obviously going to be incredibly dangerous from set pieces. And I think that was probably where their best chance came from in the end. But yeah, the, uh, I don't think you can have any complaints with the back four. And, and defensively, the midfield were were absolutely fine. Where I where I struggled with it today was when we when we had control of the game when we won, went one 0 up. We just were incapable of keeping the ball for any period of time. Um, I mean, I think Casemiro is probably going. To, well, God, I hope he's. I hope he's going to help with that. But again, it's. Um, I, I, I don't want to say the defence is sorted, because you know it's a, it's a great it's two games it's a great start. Looking but, more it, but it is but is it but it is a platform, and and uh, you know back in the day, you went one nil up and the and the. The, the whole 10 outfield control the game and that's obviously that's missing still that's it mate it's midfield you mentioned it here he resisted the urge like you said to bring Casemiro straight in obviously Scott McTominay held his place what do you think of Scott McTominay today's performance it's, like, it's getting a lot of rave reviews I thought he was decent today what yeah do you reckon? I think I, I think um, defensively he did everything you you, you, you you would want from him um, I mean Keeping the ball it, it's, and, and being dominant on it isn't really going to be his game. Uh, what, I what I would say is, if you had a front three it could stick with, uh, I think that makes their job easier. And, um, How do we make it stick with that front three, mate? Because you've got Anthony coming well, in, but it does seem like without Martial in that middle, his injury record is destroying us at the moment as an option. But... How do we make that work? Because we wasn't, we wasn't holding on to the ball long enough, and we couldn't release the pressure off the defence. Well, the two, the two, the two wide guys definitely want it over the top and running onto. I mean, and Anthony, Anthony had a difficult first half, but he had a he had a terrible first half against Brighton when we were absolutely stank the place out, and he just he visibly wilted. Today, when he came out in the second half. It was like you're in you're in this game. You can you can help us win, and I wanted to say particularly about him was, I think he came out with a with a positive attitude in that period of 15 minutes, where the goal came from. I thought he was quite bright, but yeah, none none of the front three really keep it at all. Not even not even Ronaldo. It's not really his game. You have to play. You have to play higher up the pitch, and the, the, there's still some evidence that we're we're still defending deep. Yeah, it uh, is. It is important to build the momentum and grind it, and just work up to a style of play. I know that. But in terms of today, mate, obviously the result is what was important. A lot of uh, decent performances, like you said at the back there today. But who's getting your man of the match today, Paul? Well, I'm with you. I, um, I I felt it was almost unfair not to give Malassia man of the match on Monday. 
but to, to con- I mean, he, he, it was like he went off one pitch and came on another and, and just did exactly the same thing. I love his, I love his infectiousness, and he he doesn't mind he doesn't mind getting dirty. He doesn't mind the physicality, and he'll go. He seems to go the extra yard, and we desperately we've desperately needed that. And I, I'll say it again. Luke Shaw's in big. I'm gonna say, (laughs) Luke Shaw's in desperate trouble. Again, Uh, Graham. On that note, before I get stung, uh, cheers for coming on, mate. Good to see you smiling. Yeah. Away game especially. Long mate, continue. Yes, mate.